You know, really this whole trip was booked around hunting season. And we knew that uh, when antelope and mule deer were opening in, uh, in Wyoming. And so that was our final destination. And we just had a lot of really cool stops along the way. Yeah, we enjoy rafting and, and biking, and hiking, and so many different things outdoors. But I mean, our legacy is built around being in the hunting field. The last eight days was really building up to this moment, pulling up in Wyoming, ready to use our products, ready to hunt big game, because that's what weatherbees do. We've had some friends up in Wyoming uh, that, uh, that own a ranch, the T-55 ranch, and for years, you know, we've been coming up here hunting. You know, the last time I'd been here was when, uh, was when Connor was just nine, it was about five years ago, and he wasn't old enough to hunt. And so him coming back, it was really neat to see him with rifle in hand. Of course, he chose our new Vanguard chassis rifle with the 10 round magazine and the bipod. And he looked pretty cool tromping around, uh, you know, the fields and the grass out there looking for antelope. But it was really special for me to bring him back um, for him to shoot his first antelope. The chassis gun, first of all, it looks really, really cool. My dad is always very traditional wood grade and all that type of stuff. But I'm like heavy duty, and just that sleek nature look of military style. You know, as a parent, like anybody's a parent, you, you know what I mean when I say like, whether they catch a touchdown or whether they kick a goal or, you know, I don't know, whatever it is, cross the finish line first. Like, it's, it's more fun, honestly, watching them than it ever was for you and being out there in the hunting environment, it's the same sort of thing. When they shoot and they connect and, uh, you know, they take an animal, just like Connor did that day, it's, it's honestly more exciting than, than any animal I've taken. Experiencing that animal up close and personal with my family is a moment that I'll never forget. Dana, I was a little, um, I was worried that she wasn't gonna be successful and how much that was gonna break her, like break her heart. Also, at the same time, I don't want to interrupt their journey. Like their journey is their own journey, especially with hunting. And so I don't wanna, um, smother them and be right there. I, I have to like let them experience it, how they're gonna experience it. You know, what was interesting was when I was watching Dana really stalk her antelope and the determination that she had in her eyes to be successful was the same determination that I'd seen the weekend before as she crossed the finish line for her cross country race. It was that, I'm gonna do this. In cross country, I have to cross the finish line by myself. In a successful hunt, we get to cross it together. Antelope's plentiful, and um, but mule deer, it's mule deer is always a challenge no matter where you're hunting them. And so we, uh, you know, we drove and we hiked and we glassed in in search of a nice buck for Dana. And it was uh, it was one of those scenarios where. I was pretty confident we were gonna fill our antelope tags, not so much with the mule deer. She was the only one that drew a tag, and she was the youngest of us all, and uh, we all did our best to help find her that mule deer, and it was certainly a challenge. I long for my children to be successful, but um, learning is actually even greater than success. Uh, through failure comes eventual success. But even seeing Connor and Dana while they were shooting their antelope and Dana's mule deer, I didn't really get in hunt mode myself until it was Brenda's up. So when it was my turn to get up, I kind of switched gears and focused inward and I kind of let them kind of fade in the background and I was intent on my, my job at that moment. You know, Brenda didn't grew up as a Weatherby. She married into the Weatherby family and for a long time she she wasn't ready to hunt. And a few years ago when she really jumped on board with it, she's really grown and developed as, as a true hunter herself. And that became evident to me this trip where she, you know, was say helping Dana along and, and really passing that down to the next generation. And and uh, it was neat to kind of see her come full swing after these past couple years having a lot of great opportunities to hunt. This hunt for her um, you know, she was about passing it along to the next generation. When Adam's goat hit the ground and, you know, I realized that we had completed what we came to do, not only for antelope and a mule deer on the ground, but pheasant and chucker, all these memories 
came to a close and we will treasure this forever. Adam's antelope was sizzling on the grill and the salad was being prepared and the chucker marinating in the bowl still. And I couldn't help but reminisce on the last 10 days. The rafting and the mountain biking and the UTVing and uh, bird hunting and all the flood of memories just came. And I realized that even though this trip seemed to feel like it was lasted forever, that in a short time it was gonna just feel like a, a small moment. You know, this trip will certainly uh, be a trip that I'll always remember with my family. It was an epic adventure um, and uh, one that took a lot of time uh, to prepare for and to pack for, uh, but one that was certainly worth it in the end. You know, this is a trip that my kids, Connor and Dana, will remember for the rest of their life. <laughs>